ear treatment. For satisfactory operation of the pneumatic system, the compressed air needs to be cleaned and dried. We know that the atmospheric air is contaminated with dust, smoke, and it contains some amount of water vapor, and also the air leaving the compressor can be hot and some amount of oil might be present. These particles can cause wear of the system components and presence of moisture may cause corrosion. Thus, reducing the life, and affecting the performance of the machine. Hence it is essential to treat the air to get rid of these impurities. Air Treatment Stages The air treatment can be divided into three stages, they are The first stage of air treatment is before air entering the compressor, second is before air entering the air receiver, and finally third stage is after air leaving from the receiver. In the first stage, the large sized particles are prevented from entering the compressor by an intake filter. The air leaving the compressor may be humid and may be at high temperature. The air from the compressor is treated in the second stage. In this stage temperature of the compressed air is lowered using a cooler and the air is dried using a dryer. Also, an inline filter is provided to remove any contaminant particles present. This treatment is called primary air treatment. In the third stage which is the secondary air treatment process, further filtering is carried out. A lubricator introduces a fine mist of oil into the compressed air. This will help in lubrication of the moving components of the system to which the compressed air will be applied. <laughs>